Fox and Whisker Plots. The class scores from the last test were as follows. The first thing you want to do with your information is put it in order from least to greatest. Then you want to find the median of the entire set. Cross out from high to low in pairs until you find your middle number or numbers. In this case you have two of them. So right between 91 and 95 is 93. So that's the median of your entire data set. Now we want to find the median of the lower half. So all of these numbers are in the lower half, including this 91 right here. The reason it's included is because we didn't need it for the median. We didn't actually use it. So now let's find the median of the lower half. Again, let's cross out in pairs until we find a middle number. In this case, 87 is our median. Let's do the upper half. So we include this 95 right there and all the way to the end because this is our upper half. We included this 95 right here because we haven't used it yet. Cross out in pairs and the median of the upper half is 98. Now we need four sets, uh, excuse me, five sets of information to make a box and whisker plot. We need what is called quartile one and that's the median of the lower half. We need the median, or we sometimes call that quartile 2, and then the median of the upper half we call quartile 3. Those are the main three numbers, but we also need our lowest number in the data set and our highest value in the data set. Make a number line such that spans all of your information. For this one we did 65 up to 100, and we made it in increments of 5. Now you want to put in your important information. 70 is your lowest value. 87 is quartile 1. I would look, put dots on these to get it started. 93 is your median or quartile 2. And 98 is quartile 3. And 100 was the highest value in your set. Take your middle three numbers, draw a box around those, right up through those dots, and a line coming down the middle at your median. Connect your whiskers, and now you have a box and whisker plot. Important to remember that 50% of your data will be within the box, with 25% on each end. To draw a box and whisker plot, first put the items in order, then find the median of the entire set. We have two middle values, so we don't use either one. We find what's in between. There's nothing really in between 19 and 19. So that is our median, but we haven't actually used this number. So all of these four numbers are your lower half of your data. So again, cross out from high to low, and the middle value here will be 16. So we call this quartile 1. This is your median of all your data, or quartile 2. And then let's look at your upper half of your data. Remember to include this 19 right here. That's critical because you actually haven't used it yet. So now cross out from high to low in pairs. We have two 21s here in the middle. So your quartile 3 is 21. Now to, yeah, those are your three quartiles. You will also need your lowest value and your highest value and you'll be ready to make your box and whisker plot. Now you'll want to make your number line. Look at your information that you have. We go from 13 as our lowest to 25. So let's count by fives. Start at 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And let's put in our five dots. We have a 13, so maybe about right here. 16 for quartile 1, 19 for quartile 2, or the median. 21 for quartile 3, and 25 for our highest value. Put a box around your three middle numbers, line down your median, and put your whiskers in. Now you have your box and whisker plot. What is the range of the data? Well, the low was 13, the high was 25, so your range is 12. The data is divided into how many parts? Remember, these are your 25%, another 25, another 25, and another 25. So four parts. What percent of the values are in the box? So 20, two sets of 25%, so 50% of all your values are in the box.